<laughs> well, hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to talk about a switch loop coming down from this light right above here. A lot of times when you first pull a light off of the ceiling, it's kind of just confusing looking, so we're just gonna talk it through and we'll show you what the different wires do. So with this standard uh, light being pulled off the ceiling, you can kind of see right away why you might be confused. We have several neutral wires, or what appear to be neutral wires, connecting onto the light. And then up here in the ceiling, we have our ground wires tied together. That's normal. You're always going to have all of your ground wires tied together. And then your neutral wires would normally be tied together up there with a pigtail coming down to the light. But we have these three white wires, which is kind of strange, or it looks strange at least. Now if we look at our black wires here momentarily, uh, if this was the end of the switch and we just had power coming up from our switch, we would just have a single cable coming in with one black wire going to one side and a white wire going to the other side. So this appears to be using what we call a switch leg, which is one 14-2 cable, in this case since it's 14 gauge wire, going down to the switch. So that switch should have a black and a white wire on it. So let's start with the power, where the power originates. So we have power coming into this box on one of these black wires. We don't really know which one has the power coming in. Uh, but then we have power coming back out, obviously. So we have uh, likely, let's just say for example, this w black wire over here is the power coming in. And then we have power going out on that center wire. That's just going somewhere else where they're going to utilize that power. And then this third one over here is connected. You can see how the white wire right there is connected to this here. That means that that's probably our switch leg. So we have power coming from here, going down this 14-2 wire. Then we'll go down to the switch here really quick. And sure enough, you can see here on this single pole switch, we have a black wire feeding to, the, feeding to the switch and then a white wire coming out. Now that white wire should have been marked with a piece of black tape, which it was not, unfortunately, because uh, that would have clarified things a little bit more for us. So we know that we have power coming from this switch on that white wire. And then that white wire ultimately feeds up to right there. So we should put a little piece of black tape on that as well to indicate that that is a hot wire. So now all of a sudden things become more clear now that we understand that we have a switch, uh, switch loop involved. So the things that I would have done differently here are to tie these two neutral wires up in the box and then do, uh, use a pigtail coming down to the light instead of using these two screw terminals. And then of course we would also mark this switch leg as being a hot wire with a piece of black tape both on this end as well as down by the switch. The reason we're taking this all apart is we're actually getting rid of this uh, temporary light and we're going to be moving all these wires into this recessed light here. So we just had to kind of fully understand what was going on before we'd be able to move those wires over. Now one other thing that I thought of and uh, I believe that there's a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a code violation everywhere, but this circuit right here, we have this switch loop that we just talked about. And this three-way switch is actually on a totally different circuit. The power coming in and going out of this is coming from a different breaker than this one is. So it's fine to have two circuits in one box, but uh, you need to provide a neutral for every switch in every switch box. Now this is kind of an interesting technicality because I believe we have a neutral. I mean we do have a neutral but it's from the other circuit. Uh, as far as I'm aware though we do not have a neutral for this switch leg. So depending on where you are that may or may not be a code violation. The reason that they require or suggest that you have a neutral wire present at every switch is so that if you ever put like a Wi-Fi switch or a motion sensor switch or some other kind of switch in that requires a little bit of power in order to operate, you have that neutral available so you can connect up that neutral and, and wire it properly. Otherwise people sometimes will connect to the ground wire for their neutral for their switch because it draws such a small amount of power, which is not a good idea, it's not allowed, you should not do that. So always, always provide a neutral at your light switch location, which is why I suggest run your power to your switch box first 
and then run power from your switch box up to your light. Skip doing the switch legs or switch loops like they used to do very commonly. I have a bunch more electrical videos coming from this project we've been working on here. It's uh, working on finishing a little basement living room area as well as a bedroom. So there should be some fun videos coming from that. Oh, also a sub panel. Let me show you really quick. We also installed this sub panel over here. This is a 100 amp sub panel. So I'm going to have a detailed video for the, on that for you guys too. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. So really appreciate it. Thank you guys for making this channel possible and for all your support. Appreciate it very much. Leave any thoughts or comments down in the description below. And wow, I just uh, put a lot of call to actions in there, but oh well. Thanks guys. See ya. Bye.